Hello, my name is Tiago. This video is for answering a question I saw on researchgate.net, a portal for on scientific research. This is the question. It is possible to control both active and reactive power of a single phase three stage grid connected PV system in alpha beta stationary reference frame. This is quite an interesting question because we saw a lot of three phase applications using alpha beta stationary frame and it works very well. You can control active and reactive power injected into the grid by using such a strategy. And the question is if you can use this strategy of alpha beta in single phase reference frame. The answer is yes and this video is to show you that I have here. I don't that just to, to prove the answer. Uh, I'll show you here that it works very good for single phase and using alpha beta strategy in the control. I'm here just to show you what I'm testing here. I'm here with uh, an inverter, a half bridge single phase inverter. I'm using this just for simplicity but it can be used a uh, half a full bridge inverter. The second stage here may be connected later. I'll show you that it works very good the injection of active and reactive power from this stage to the grid. The output filter is a uh, LCL filter. The, this filter has a damping resistor here, but this analysis can be also valid for active damping if in case you are using such similar structure, okay? Passive damping, just to show that the answer is yes. I have here the grid and also a line impedance just to make more realistic. In order to begin this discussion, let, let me first run the simulation in single phase, but not in alpha beta reference, in ABC reference frame. I'm here on POL to generate the reference to be in phase of that. This is the actually the reference computation. And at this point here, I have the reference for the current. And this is compared to the output. I'm measuring right here the variable and comparing and I'm passing through this digital controller which is a lead and lag current controller. I have here the coefficients for this digital controller. The switching frequency and the sampling frequency is 10 kilohertz. And I have here the PWM generator, the carry working at 10 kilohertz. Okay, just to show that this works, if I run this simulation, run just for some minutes here, Again, the efficacy of this single phase initially in ABC reference frame is based on these controllers here. If I plot the inverter current and its reference signal, I can see here it is following the reference. In blue is the reference and in red is the output variable. It sees that it is following the reference in an acceptable manner. Okay, I can plot also here the the same inverter current plus the source voltage divided by 10 for better visualization, divided by 5. We see that they are in phase, so the controller is working good. This is the initial step because later I use this controller. Remember that in alpha beta reference frame, you are still with sinusoidal waveforms for your reference, so you need to have a controller able to follow such sinusoidal signals. And this is showed here that it follows very good sinusoidal reference. This is the first step, okay? In phase, sinusoidal and following the reference. Okay, this is not the question at all. So I will disable this part of the circuit and here I have the answer for the question. Let's see what I have here to show you that this works. So let's get started from this part. I have here the voltage and this is the definition of the current reference obtaining for alpha beta reference frame. Since, since it is single phase you need to have this block here which is a delay. Later we'll discuss how to employ this in real applications. But this is the concept. If you have already the voltage grid you need to have something that is 90 degree phase shift related to the input signal. This is the concept of the alpha beta. So if you have a sinusoidal at this point, 
you need to have a cosine of this such at the same point and I will simulate again but let me, let's first go on on this current reference obtained this is definition of alpha beta and this point here we have the references from alpha and beta let's run again and let's check first how the reference is being obtained considering this phase delay here this is quite important I'll, I will discuss later how to employ this accurately so I have here the inverter current and this is not what I want to show you now let's see it again for simplicity right now I want to check the reference for alpha and beta and one more thing is that based still on the definition of the alpha beta I have here the references for P and Q P and Q this is, is what we are interested to to show okay so I have here reference changing from this point to this and also I'm changing the reference from this to that and this is actually the full strategy for obtaining the reference in alpha beta reference frame for single phase this is what it takes more more attention because it's a, a phase delay okay so if I see here the reference from alpha beta I have here initially at zero just to see later the transient analysis and I have here the references for that it is quite noisy because the voltage is quite noise I'm measuring the voltage at the PCC which is right here I have line impedance so it is natural that I have here uh, noise but acceptable value okay this is the reference that the controller must follow since this is working good okay so again this is part of the answer you have P and Q references it's still single phase but now I'm using this and later since the references are obtained I'm using the same controller I used in the single phase right above of this controller and the same controller because I saw that this controller is able to follow sinusoidal references but one interesting here is that you need also to make such a phase delay on this variable here which is the output of the inverter okay the contrast strategy is running in alpha beta you have two variables transformed into such a reference frame the, v, the PCC voltage in order to obtain the current reference and also the variable that you are controlling once this is also performed I'm passing here through two controllers controller for alpha and controller for beta they are the same okay the same for the single phase and later the controller is acting on the error which is this signal I return to the alpha to the ABC reference frame this is a transformation from alpha beta to ABC transformation and then since this is single phase I'm using PWM just for phase A the phase B and C can be discharged at this point and I already run the simulation and I see here that this is the signal and let's see here also the inverter current and also the grid current let's plot the source current because it's cleaner and this is what we want to see okay so we have initially zero the reference for P and Q are zero we have the voltage and this point you have a reference for P and I saw that here that we see here that the injected current is sinusoidal and very acceptable shape and at this point let me simulate a little bit more because I have also included here a step on the Q reference this will show that the that is possible and I showed here that this is quite good let's discuss soon these blocks here let's wait this finish 99% okay so returning here to our discussion at such a moment here I include the reference for kill and we see that 
they are initially in phase, now the voltage and current are out of phase, showing here a reactive injection into the grid. And if you want to see again the reference for alpha and also the inverter current, it must be following the reference. Let me multiply this by 10 because it is the my sensor gain. Let's see, let me change this color. You see here that it's following the reference also in an unacceptable manner. Zero, just uh, active power and later active and reactive power. You see here the phase displacement between voltage and current. Okay. Again, returning here to the research gate, the answer is yes, and I showed you in this simulation that this works good. This is the final file, the uh, single phase, this is green, which is disabled, and I'm using here a control strategy in alpha beta for single phase grid connected inverter. And before finishing this video, I'd like to discuss with you if this is really good or not, because you have here to use two delays in order to make the component orthogonal to this input and you can use also three of this delay because if you are using here the active damping control strategy you need to feedback this current and also you need to use another one of this unit delay and the point is how to employ this physically. This is quite a simulator block, uh, an ideal, and you can use, let me type here on a notepad, manners to employ a real delay of the input signal. So you can use the familiar second order generalized integrator PLL, you can use a common filter, you can use the Hilbert transformation even though this is not so good and if you want to employ this physically and in with real in a real application you can check on my web page go here to my web page on the risk publication tag go down to the conference papers which is begins here I have here this let me see. I have here a common filter used for frequency detector, but it may be used for delay the input signal. If you see here the results, maybe you can check this paper carefully. But you see here from the input, you can produce here an in phase and in quadrature signals. This is what this is exactly what you need to do that. It, this is actually what is happening in this block. So for real implementation of this block, maybe in this simulation you can change later for a more realistic one. But one way is to use a common filter. You see here that a common filter takes an input signal and computes two orthogonal signals. So you can check my paper later because I realized that not for that purpose, but it valid for also for such application. This is one option common filter and I have here another paper which is the second order generalized integrator which has the same feature okay so you can do uh, like here you have an input single phase and you are producing here alpha beta using figure 2 which is this one okay in this paper you have more details how to employ alpha beta components from an input because again these blocks here are too realistic for just for simulation okay you can maybe change later that and the final discussion is this the system is single phase what is work what is better to use in alpha beta or to use also or to use instead in ABC you see here that I'm using one PLL and in this part here you probably need to use two PLLs or even three if you are using the feedback current of the capacitor okay think about because maybe this is not the best option you can control the active and reactive power from 
this date, the controller is the same. I just copied and paste because both of them in ABC reference frame and in alpha beta, they must be able to follow sinusoidal references. And this controller here will be actually the same. You won't simplify the controller because you are using alpha beta. And again, you need to use two PLL when while in this case you just need to use one. And but on the other hand, this is easy to control active and reactive power. And this for you to control the active power, let me enable this just to show you. This is the amplitude for the current multiplied by 10. So for you to control the active power from using this strategy here, you need to adjust this amplitude. This amplitude is decided from MPPT or from this initial force here. But the reactive power here is compensated using the PLL which is not so attractive. In ABC, so your current reference is oops, sorry, times, let me put here cosine This is the reference that you need. This is comes from the PLL, and this comes from the MPPT or other instances here from P reference. And for controlling here, that you need also to use another angle here. Let me put an angle. So controlling this angle here, you are controlling the reactive power that the this stage is injecting into the grid. This is quite not easy, but it is possible also to use that. Okay, this is the answer. Hope you understood. But this is the, a, good, a good discussion. Is it really worth to use alpha beta because the controller are the same for ABC? You need to employ two phase delays here that is not so easy. You see here that you need to employ a realistic phase delay. While here you just use one PLL, the same controller, but also you need to adjust this P reference. You may also translate this to this and this key reference to the angle, to the resulting angle that the reference have. And the final result, of course, will be very similar when you have here the inclusion of a reference a key reference into your system. Okay, hope you understood and hope this video helps other researchers also in answering this question here. See you.